The recent earthquake in Mexico resulting in a death toll of 360 people and the destruction of thousands of homes. Many could be wondering what the possibility is of something like that occurring in this part of the country. Also wondering if you're protected. Here now to talk about how damage from a tremor can be addressed by insurance. Bob LaFaro with LaFaro Insurance. And, and Bob, uh, you know, uh, it may sound far-fetched, but we have felt earthquakes, you know, albeit fairly small. Um, is there much con cause to be concerned? Well, Pennsylvania is considered relatively low risk, but Erie is on a fault line. Statistics show that for Pennsylvania, earthquakes occur mainly in the Erie Basin near the lake, as well as central and eastern counties. There are also two seismically active zones, one in Lancaster and then one here by the lake. Okay, so, you know, ha has your agency seen any um, activity in, in regards to, to earthquake claims ever? Right, so September 25th, 1998, we had an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.2 hit Meadville, which sent a shock throughout most of Pennsylvania as well as northern Ohio. This was actually one month before I started, so I'm not sure what our claim activity was, but I know an attorney whose basement wall collapsed from the occurrence, and we also had a local university that mm -hmm. also sustained damage as well. Well, I can tell you, when the ground shakes, nothing makes the phones ring in our newsroom any quicker, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, you know, is coverage normally included? You know, if I go into my policy, you know, so to speak, am I going to find earthquake coverage? Actually, it's always excluded. Fortunately, a majority of your carriers offer as an option for both your personal and your commercial forms. Okay, is this type of coverage um, e expensive, though? I, I guess it, it, it all comes down to what the chances of, of having to uh, call it in are, right? Exactly. So that can come on down to a number of variables, location being one. So go back to what we just discussed regarding tremor activity in PA. If you had two identical location risks, one in Pittsburgh, one in Erie, our rates would probably be higher. If you want to feel better about our situation, you compare a risk here to one in California, which has around 10,000 earthquakes a year, although most of those are too small to be felt. Okay, so would it be safe to assume at this point, um, you know, coverage in California, I, I would guess, is, is much higher and, and much more common uh, for us. That is correct. So let's use a frame house as an example. Brick homes have lower rates when it comes to fire coverage, but they have higher rates for earthquake since they're more susceptible to damage from a tremor. So for our house in Erie, if we assume a homeowner's premium, let's say $1,000 per year, a rough ballpark for earthquake coverage may be around 5%, so $50. In comparison, earthquake premiums in California typically range from $800 to $5,000 per year. Yeah, and with good reason when you look at the numbers, right? Right. All right, right. What, else, what else do we need to be aware of, you know, when it comes to purchasing the coverage or, or not purchasing it? Yeah, so also keep in mind with earthquake, deductibles are in the form of percentages, and these percentages are the total value of the home. Therefore, if your home is insured for $200,000 and your retention is 5%, that equates to a deductible of $10,000. All right, any final thoughts here um, before, we, uh, before we stop with this one? <laughs> yes, contact your agent and get a quote. It's better to weigh the probabilities of cost now versus weighing the collapsed walls to a depleted bank account later. Always. All right, Bob LaFaro with the LaFaro Insurance Agency. Thanks for coming in and reminding us that uh, earthquake insurance uh, may not be as, as far-fetched as we thought. Thank you, Sean. All right, we'll talk to you later.